Good morning. I thought I would start this vlog by looking absolutely insane. Look at my self tanner hands. Oh! Um, I wanted to show y'all my like silky pajama set from Amazon because they are my favorite thing to wear when I self tan. So self tanner doesn't get on my sheets and they come in a set of, I don't know, like eight pieces for... $32. It's such a steal. I mention it every single Christmas. It's my favorite. So I'm wearing this. The slippers are also from Amazon. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know what happened with my self tanner last night. I look crazy. Um, the slippers are from Amazon and we are in the closet right now. Today I'm going to give you a ton of house updates and show you all the furniture we're getting and all that good stuff. So let me go fix this situation. Um, I just did my makeup because I have a lot of videos to film. Today's finally Saturday. Today I finally get to do whatever the heck I want. I am in the other bathroom because I decided this is where I was gonna put all my makeup. That way I wouldn't clutter the one sink and the other one. So until I buy kind of like a vanity, like Ikea, Alex drawer situation, this will do and let me show you the bedroom without the bed frame real quick that way y'all can see a good before and after so we switched to a california king because i don't know i wanted more room and i wanted more dogs so <laughs> this is the mattress so i got the sheets off of amazon they have great reviews i'm sure i will talk about it in a video soon and then i also got the mattress from amazon so i'll link those down below but this is the bedroom situation the nightstands are actually in the closet this is just stuff for the laundry. I just wanted to make it really easy for the guys that are gonna deliver it and assemble it um, to, you know, not have to move a bunch of stuff around. So over here, I don't think I've shown you all this. I have our old Ikea dresser that I stained like back when we first moved to the apartment. What I wanna do with this is actually DIY it and paint it the same color as a bed frame. So that's why I've been waiting for the bed frame to come in so I can match the color like perfectly. We also wanna mount this TV. Not like, this is really not neat or organized at all right now. So bear with me, but I will show you like a full on room tour once everything's done. And let me know if you wanna see a DIY. Basically, I'm gonna paint it and then I'm gonna switch to handles. I've been seeing a ton of Pinterest DIYs on this specific dresser so I'm excited for that and then downstairs there's a ton of updates so let me show you so we finally got our dining room table and the chairs in this past week so this is what it looks like I really want to get kind of like a light colored neutral rug for this space because I don't really love how it looks but we'll see um basically i bought this set from rooms to go it was the table and six of these chairs that i really like but once it got delivered um we were missing one i couldn't tell if it was the guys that were delivering it because they were acting kind of shady um speaking behind my back in spanish and i'm fluent in spanish so but it's out of stock until november so for now i have this situation these will probably not stay there but i really like the quality of this furniture it's just the delivery was a little weird but i have the bar cart here um it has not been styled i haven't brought all our all our liquor and wines from the apartment so that's basically what it's gonna look like for a bit but i really like it it's from amazon i'll link it down below as well it's just really nice and neutral and i think it goes really well with the space also i should mention that we currently do not have blinds in any of the windows <laughs> because we're getting a few different quotes so we are covering up the windows any way we can hence why it looks so bad right now but it's okay anyway moving over here i put well i didn't <laughs> we decided to put the circle mirror in the part from the apartment in this entryway and then i'm going to get a little kind of table i just have to measure this area from home goods to put like keys masks like whatever and just decorate it like super cute and then this closet just has a bunch of crap right now so i'm not gonna show you that then the office another exciting update let me turn that on so very pink very pink um would you expect any less from me <laughs> so i had 
basically a lot of these items already so this couch if you've been watching my videos for a while you probably remember used to be kind of like my backdrop for filming videos i got it off amazon there's like a ton of messy stuff on top ignore that it's a velvet couch actually i think it's considered like a futon um, because it turns into a bed so those two sides lay completely flat which is cool pretty uncomfortable but I love the look I want to get a bunch of like little pillows that are neutral to style it I don't know if I'm gonna keep it there that's from Ikea I think it looks a little cluttered but for now it's probably gonna stay there um, love this and then <laughs> here is my try and haul mirror since I have a better one upstairs this is from Home Goods, and I love it, but it's extremely, extremely heavy. It took like three of us, well, I didn't really carry it, but it took three people to bring it in. Then I have this random vase that I DIY'd. I don't think that's gonna stay there. Then the most exciting part is this. So this rug is from Target. I got it a long time ago, I love it. I love how vibrant and pink it is. However, I don't really love the chair with everything else in this room because everything else is like a true pink and then we have the chair that's pretty like mauvey, like dusty rose. So I think I'm gonna replace the chair. This chair is from Amazon, but it comes in different colors, but it doesn't come in the color that I want. So we'll see what I do with that. This desk though, is probably one of my all time favorite Amazon finds. It is an L-shaped desk. I went for the gold legs and um, marble, fake marble top. I like it. I'm not obsessed with the gold. I think it looks a little cheap. I was thinking of spray painting it. Let me know what you think. But great, especially if you are working from home or your kids are doing school from home. Cannot recommend it enough. So much space, so much room for activities. And it was under $150, so really good um and then i guess i'll show you over here it's not really organized but this is from amazon it's like a little pink desk pad so i think you can see kind of like the vibes of the pink that i like and then why it doesn't go with this chair but anyway i'm working on organizing this won't stay here i just needed like a space for all the shipping supplies for poshmark so that's not gonna stay there and then this is going to get replaced by a different um shelf i saw some on target that i like some on ikea i'm still kind of waiting it's not like a priority by any means but right now i have this really cheap one from ikea that i don't really like i hate what i did with this this is super old so that's gonna stay there for a little bit, but I was thinking of putting one shelf there, one shelf there, and then like maybe like a black um, shelf. Did I say chair? I don't know. Anyway, I don't know. Let me know what y'all think because I also don't want this space to look extremely cluttered, which I know it's gonna look like that anyway. <laughs> Let me know what y'all think. So this is probably the least exciting part of the house. First of all, because it is super messy. Recycling comes tomorrow finally, which is great. But second of all, because my couch, well, the sectional won't be arriving for a long time. So I got it off Living Spaces and I guess they make them like custom, like made to order, especially with the color that I chose. So, I mean, they are the same people that are delivering the bed frame today and they said it'll probably be another six weeks, which sucks. But anyway, it's okay. Right now, I just have these random chairs here. These are definitely not staying here. Um, so this is Skippy's egg chair and it drives me crazy that it's black because nothing else is black, but it's fine. <laughs> and then this is mine. This one is from Target and then Skippy's is from Home Goods, which I just realized the tag is on. It's supposed to be a cat chair, but you know what? I don't care. Skippy fits in there and looks adorable. So the egg chair will probably go outside. I guess I can show you. Well, let me finish this. So there's that. My dad painted this for me a long time ago and I freaking love it. So I decided to put it here because this is going to be an extremely neutral place and I thought it would look cool. I'm obviously gonna wait to see what it looks like with the section on everything, but I think it's super cool. So then I have this beautiful new thing. So I decided to get a swivel chair. I don't know if this is gonna go somewhere else once the sectional comes in, but I love it. It was from World Market and it is so nice and soft. 
and I love it so much. And honestly, y'all, all swivel chairs are so expensive. I don't know why. So this one was about $300, if that helps. Um, like I said, we have no blinds right now. So I'm covering up this window with this super broken mirror. Oh my God. Um, because this window faces directly into our neighbor's yard. And they have two dogs that are super big. And honestly drives me kind of crazy that they leave them out all day so just like for my dogs not to freak out for them not to be barking all the time i decided to cover it with this but hopefully we won't have to do it for much longer um not much going on here like i said over here i actually decided to put the dog items like i told y'all i was gonna do it's pretty messy because i need to get some shelving oh wait oh Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I thought this didn't have shelving, so I thought this didn't either. Anyway, exciting stuff. I'll work on that today. I need to buy Cooper more food, and then this is the small dog's food. I switched them to this. I'll put the picture right here. Amazing, y'all. It has done wonders for the, their skin, but mostly their digestion. If you're looking for a great brand as your bed, because I love it so much, that's just like a bag full of toys and like clothes, like little sweaters and stuff that I decided to wash. So I think this is going to look cute. I might put their portraits there. We'll see. So I'm excited about that. And then over here, not much going on either. So I decided to get this little mat for the dog's food. I'm currently washing their bowls because Skippy, since he has his tongue out, um, he kind of spills food everywhere. I don't know where to put this though. I think it looks so strange here, but I honestly don't know where else to put it. So that's from Amazon. And then another thing from Amazon are these chairs. So this used to be kind of like our dining situation in the apartment, but now I think it looks pretty good here. I don't love it, but I'm not gonna really change it right now. Um, so that's what it looks like. Please ignore that vase with those random sunflowers. <laughs> it looks so bad. And I decided to put this little thing from Target here. Once again, don't love it, mostly because it's extremely empty. I don't know where all our mugs are, uh, but we'll see. I also don't like that this space is super empty, so let me know if you have any suggestions. I don't know. And for the kitchen, I'm not really gonna go too into it because I'm planning on doing a whole Amazon Kitchen Finds video and tour, but I did wanna show y'all this because this is super exciting and I didn't show you before. Y'all, it has two built-in Lazy Susans. Isn't this so genius? I think this is so cool. So it has one on top and one at the bottom and I'm putting all our spices there. I'm still working on bringing a lot of items from the apartment, like smaller things, but another thing that's kind of driving me crazy is all the different colors of appliances. <laughs> so the toaster is staying. It's beautiful and it's blue, but this has to go. I mean, I barely used an espresso to begin with and this ugly ugly green is the worst so i might sell that um but look at this isn't this so satisfying it's all the nespresso pods so that's kind of why i don't want to get rid of it i might just get like the bigger one and just get it in black that way it matches the air fryer i also went ahead and put all the juicer appliances here um there's a ton of stuff so i'm excited to show y'all like a full-on kitchen tour and organization and all that good stuff and then a quick update on the backyard we washed this yesterday i kind of want to paint it let me know what y'all think definitely like not like a bright color or anything just like a neutral gray that way it doesn't look as dirty and then i put the overstock um patio set here don't love how it looks to be honest but we'll see i definitely want to replace this with like a wooden porch i think that would look super cute but not a priority right now so i'm definitely going to work on a backyard type tour or like not tour like renovation transformation whatever you want to call it later on probably in the spring because it's really not a priority but it doesn't look too bad the pest control guy is coming tomorrow this is what it looks like i don't think i showed you all this much so this vlog i have a feeling is pretty long already just because i talk so darn much so what i'm gonna do is end it here and then once 
a few more things come together once you know I go to Ikea get a few more organizational items I will do another um, kind of like update moving vlog not really because our stuff is pretty much moved in but you know just kind of like house updates I don't want to turn into a full-on like house channel like my content will remain the same amazon channel hauls favorites all that good stuff but i do want to add these videos in like sporadically um that way you'll get to know me a little more get to like see our house and how it like progresses and how we decorate it and all that good stuff so definitely let me know oh my god am i okay definitely let me know if you're interested in seeing these how often you want to see them and also like the length so like i said before i'm a youtube watcher i love watching youtube videos um and i would love like nothing more than my favorite youtubers to do like 30 40 minute vlogs because i can watch them when i when i get ready when i do my makeup when i'm cleaning so do you want these vlogs to be long or would you rather me keeping like keep them like shorter kind of like my regular videos let me know but anyway um i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys are liking these videos subscribe if you haven't already i'm about to post so much amazon content you'll have no idea so stay tuned subscribe and i'll talk to you guys in my next one